So Sean, thank you very much for agreeing to do the video. We very much appreciate it. Thanks for coming. So how about we start with you tell me a little bit about your company and how it got started. NW Metal Recycling is a family business. The entity itself was formed about four years ago with a merger of two family businesses. You know, both the families have similar goals and aspirations of, of wanting to grow and do better in the industry that we are. And so over the last four years, we've been able to combine the businesses, capitalize on the, on the shared intrinsics of operational efficiency, better uh, volumes for value creation on the sales end, as well as investing and growing in, in equipment acquisitions for processing the metal stream that we have to harness the full metal values that are there. So the main acquisitions that we've done in equipment is the downstream that we're here to look at today. And that itself has allowed us to increase our metal recovery from the shredding process a considerable amount, thus being able to drive better values and better quality to not only meet the demands here domestically, but also internationally. So it sounds like you've made a lot of investments to differentiate your company. Uh, how does this system uh, compare with what you previously were running? The system is, is very different from what we had before. Very simple system we had on our shredder. It's still there today, but not operational. It was a two eddy current system, one doing inch and a half over, one doing under an inch and a half. And then anything that the over line did, that missed, we had put through a hand picking station. So stainless steel, insulator wire, all those other products were so very simple and manual process. Now very robust and mechanical process that leads to better metal generation with very little uh, manual process that is needed other than to keep the product clean. So the old plant was a Zorba recovery plant with hand picking and the new operation here, we've got automation of Zorba, Zurich and wire with minimal hand picking going on. Correct, and now it's more of a differentiated Zorba product. Not only do we have the Zorba product we were used to, now we are generating a fine Zorba, an ultra fine Zorba. We're generating a heavies package that we weren't before. It's not only an increased volume recovery, but it's also increased the, the, the product lines that we're able to market and offer to overseas buyers and domestic buyers. So I, I see you're running a pretty typical ASR mix here. Uh, have you tried other materials such as breakage, e-scrap, or other source materials? Good question. We've thought about it. We're still eight months in, nine months into running the system. We're still learning. It, you know, it's never, it's never perfect. There's always something to learn every day. Uh, but until we feel as if we've mastered the ASR processing, we probably will wait a little bit to get into those. However, that is an opportunity we've looked at, and I'm sure we'll get into it at some point here in the next foreseeable future. So how about we have a look at the plan? Sounds good. All right. So Sean, tell me a bit about the plant. Uh, how do you decide what size plant to buy? Very simple answer for us. We wanted a plant large enough to take what we currently are producing from our shredder in Portland, but with enough room to grow. And how many hours and how many shifts are you running on this plant? One shift is what we're running, and it's roughly eight to 10 hours a day, all depending on what the production's like at the Portland yard at the shredder and what maintenance and upkeep is, is needed for you know the current day or the previous day's operations. Oh, very good. Let's have a look at the rest of the plant. All right. How did you come to your decision to select Wendt and Tomer equipment? When we toured dozens of different processing plants, not only here in the U.S., but internationally, looking at what metal smelters and copper smelters, the aluminum smelters, all these different places we'd be selling these product lines to, stainless buyers, Zurich buyers. The material that went Tomra systems spit out higher quality with less touches than any other system or company that we looked at before. The know-how, the integrations parts of it, the decades long leadership of Went is very apparent in the product production and the quality is why we chose to go with Went and Tomra. Since you initially started this plant, market conditions have changed. Have the products you're producing evolved over time? Prior to putting the system in, I mean, we saw Zorba, Zurich, you know, uh, heavies packages at all time lows. I've never seen pricing that low in my time period in business, although be it not that long, still a pretty fair amount of time. Now we're seeing the pricing levels return to some sort of normalcy that we're used to seeing historically. And through that growth and value that we're also seeing you know, ways that we can differentiate the product lines. I mean, through the advice of yourself and others that went and Tomer as well, tune the, the lines to produce product lines that are much more attractive to buyers while maximizing metal recovery. Yeah, when you commissioned, I think you were making Zurich and now you're making a stainless package off the back end. So 
good example of the flexibility of the equipment and the tunability. How has the training and support been from Went in the learning experience? How has that been? It's been good. I mean, there's always going to be hiccups, but overall, I think that the support from Went is bar none anybody else. I mean, we pick up the phone, regardless of the time period, you always answer. Anyone else within the Went staff is always there. So responsiveness, you know, the replies we get, probably some of the best support that we have gotten throughout the industry. That's great. Uh, has your team been able to transition well into this plant and pick it up pretty quickly? I would say so. We have team members that have other shredding experience. We have team members that have other downstream plant experience, not to this level and this extent, but enough know-how of the workings and, and the different nooks and crannies of it. Our learning curve probably shorter than most. I and mean, this plant was fully operational within a less than a 30 day time period. And we were producing syllable products the first day we, we started it up. From our industry know-how with the management group that we have, also with the, the support from Went and Tomra, we've been able to have a very quick learning curve. Your plant is one of the uh, first that we had featured the new fine circuit on, uh, where uh, we're working with middlings at the eddy current, rescreening, and uh, a single finder step to make a, a zebra package. How's it been working out for you? I mean, it's been good. Zebras uh, in the heavies package is very new to us in terms of the shredding game and, and metal recoveries and learning what is needed in, in the product composition for, for good sales. We're still working our way through it. But overall, it is one of the more valuable products that we do produce from this system because of the high copper content and because of the high ICW content and red, other red metals that make it down that side of the line when it comes to anything that's under three eighths of an inch. So I know uh, Eric Thurston from Tomer had some questions for you as well. Uh, so how about we uh, introduce him and we can get that going. Sounds good. What kind of challenges were you facing and what made you go in this direction? It's a good question. A lot of metal, you know, shredders that have, are in our field here, we're dealing with the same issues about three or four years ago when China started implementing new regulations. And so prior to the system, we were going for quality over quantity when those new regulations were put in place in China. And for the system, we wanted to meet those standards, but get the metal recovery we weren't getting prior. So we were still missing out on metal that we shouldn't have been missing out on. And so that was the biggest challenge that we faced with finished products, we just didn't have enough of it. We had a high quality product, but didn't have enough of it. Now we have multiple product lines of high quality and we're not missing anything. What made you choose to go with Tomra Finders? We chose to go with Tomra, obviously just from the product quality standpoint, any other company that was you know, running this type of equipment and with the, the designs that, that went and come with, bar none in terms of product production and, and how many times you had to touch the product. You know, we'd seen other plants that would run with different equipment. We have to pass material twice to the plant to get up to the cleanliness that we have to meet all the regulations in Southeast Asia, Europe, and other parts of the world. What finished products are you making and what purity and throughput rates are you getting? We're making a Zurich shredded stainless, which is almost 100% recovered of, of shredded stainless. We're making a shredded wire package, which roughly recovers in the 40% range. And then we're making a Zebra Heavies, small shredded wire package, however you want to define it, that is about a 60-ish percent, you know, uh, copper uh, rate with some other metals mixed in with it. Sean, let's talk about the ROI on this plant. Has this been a good investment for your company? It has been. We, we obviously did our initial review in a depressed market. And now that the values have returned, the, the time frame of the return for the investment for ourselves, for the company, is going to be much quicker than we originally anticipated. So we're lucky on our end, but yes, it has been a very good investment so far. Very good. So has this been a good experience? And would you consider buying again from Went and Tomro? It has been a good experience. I and mean, this is the second time we've done a transaction with Went. Obviously, the first time being the MTB cable box now with this downstream, working with Tomro on this one. We would definitely consider working with Went again. Thank you very much. Yeah. Really appreciate yeah. it. Thanks, Eric. Thank you. Beer 30, let's go. All right, let's go.